Finally tonight, our person of the week. This in-demand young artist draws his inspiration from the world's great cities, but the obstacles with which he contends and the way in which he works is truly remarkable. ABC's Nick Watt found him and found him an inspiration. As some people say to me, so your work is brilliant. And you like that? Yeah. Stephen Wiltshire spent three days drawing this panoramic view of Madrid. Painstakingly detailed, it was penned entirely from memory. Wiltshire memorized this vast cityscape during a 30-minute helicopter ride. You memorize it, all of that in your head. Is, uh, is, that, yeah. is that easy or is that hard? Um, I think it's uh, um, easy. And do you we like visited Wiltshire's three London three Gallery. Some of his pictures sell for over $100,000. Yeah. That's amazing. That's the St. Mark's Square, by memory. Los Angeles, drawn from memory. London, four square miles, 200 buildings. The scale and perspective are perfect. My favorite is um, that New York subway passing from the New York skyline. He's only visited New York three times, yet remembers it vividly. The buildings the cabs, the lights on Broadway. Memorizing minute detail is easy. New York is in my, my fav favorite city. Verbal communication is very hard. Busy, and traffic. He's autistic. I mean, like, His like first this. words came at age five. I said, I want paper. Please, can I have a paper, please, to draw? At age 12, he was featured in a BBC documentary. He drew this ornate London train station from memory. Fame followed, as did overseas trips, adulation, disbelief. We set Wiltshire a relatively easy task. Ten minutes at Piccadilly Circus. I'll start now. Please. Then we asked him to draw it from memory. It took him just a little over an hour. And there we have it. It's done now. The result? <laughs> practically perfect. Uh, that's Piccadilly Circus. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> and so we choose Stephen Wilcher, whose memorable artwork speaks volumes even when he cannot. And next he's off to Dubai and Shanghai, and his remarkable talent has caught the eye of one particular Briton. Queen Elizabeth has made him a member of the Order of the British Empire. And that is World News for this Friday. I'm Charlie Gibson, and I hope you had a good day. For all of us at ABC News, have a good weekend.